Hey survivors, welcome back to Chaos Kevin. I've got a really good in-game video for you today. I think you're going to enjoy it. It is action-packed as you can tell by the title. The five minute quick mushroom base I built has been destroyed. So we're going to take a look at that and uh, see what happened and why it happened and how to keep it from happening again. So remember if you like this content please give me a thumbs up like share subscribe all that stuff to help my little budding channel grow I appreciate everybody that does stop by to watch this and I think we're all kind of devoted to this aging game but uh, it's still a good game the graphics aren't as good as the new versions going to be but Damn it, the gameplay's sure right up there. So, let's roll this video. Okay, we'll take a look at what went wrong, why it went wrong, and just how wrong it went in just a minute. But first, let's go back to happier times. I wanted to show you this maze system I put in at the bottom of the base. This keeps the undead from running back and forth because when they're doing that, you can't get a good shot at them. So I put in this. And we'll take a look at that from the top here in just a minute. I had also put in this overhead storage system and I liked the way it looked and it was pretty functional except I didn't like that speed bump feeling. And so I redesigned it and made it bigger into this. This design takes up very little floor space and I no longer have that speed bump sensation like I'm bumping my head or stumbling and it only takes up the about one column of floor space and when the trap door is open it guides me down the chute to the ground so to speak. This configuration also helps keep me from falling down through the trap door as it's only approachable from one direction. Now let's take a quick look at the ground level maze construction. It's easier to see in the daylight. We'll see plenty of it at night here in a minute, but notice how the undead will walk into it and walk right up to the base and cause themselves a bit of self-harm on the spikes and it keeps them from running back and forth. Makes them a lot easier target. Okay, here we go. I had been out looting the area and collecting airdrops and was at the time trying to establish a garden when I realized it was getting dark and the sky turned red. At that time I realized that it was horde night and I had nowhere to go but this base that had never been intended as a Horde Knight base, especially uh, this late in the game. I built this to demonstrate how to make a quick base early mid-game and, and it was not a Horde Knight base, but here it was, day 390, and nowhere else to go. I'm going to transfer as much stuff as I can out of my backpack into these chests for safekeeping in case I get taken out during this fight. I've got a hell of a lot of stuff in these chests after looting, scavenging, and uh, collecting airdrops. Again, notice how the ground level maze allows me to shoot those little bastards instead of just wasting ammunition while they run back and forth. Okay guys, now bear in mind, I'm stuck up here in an early game base, not a horde base, and certainly not designed for day 392 horde night. And to top it all off, all I have with me is a bow and arrow. I don't have any guns of any sort. I'm going to jump forward to where the night gets a bit more intense. All right, now in addition to dogs, we've experienced our first projectile vomiting cop. 
That's a pretty easy repair. Normally I'd do it on the fly, but I really can't do it while there's still a cop down there. I'll probably be okay as long as I stay on these cobblestones. Repairs, but fortunately, those couple still in the frame plates are pretty cheap. Cop number two. Oops, I don't want to go down there. I better shut that door. I'm going to craft a few cobblestone frame plates, see if I can't slap a band-aid on this thing mid-fight. Oh joy, another cop comes to the party. This guy is just an arrow sponge. That was the second cop detonation right at the base of the base. Not looking good. I'm gonna have to do some more quick repairs here and I hope I don't get any more cops tonight. I always keep some of these cobblestone frame plates in my hot bar just for situations like this. level enemies tonight. And of course I just now remember I've got a miner's helmet with a lamp on it. Well, so far the base is holding up pretty well, even with all this activity. Uh, an awful lot of dogs for some reason, and I hate killing them this early in the night. I usually wait until about five because otherwise they despawn and you lose all of that leather. Well, what is... Ah, oh, crap. Now it's snowing. Like I need that. It's another cop. I've lost track. Is that three or four?
Bad cop, no donut. I took some damage on that one. I'll slap down some quick repairs here. Another cop? Holy wet farts, give me a break. Oh great, check that out. I've got a barrel white going into helicopter mode. And he's taking out one of the columns. Well that's not good. <laughs> And Pukey the cop's going after it too. At least the base is holding up. I just hope it'll hold up till morning. On the upside, it is a beautiful night in the apocalypse. Oh fuck, crying out loud, we're going down. A feral, a cop, no base. I don't see how this could possibly get worse. Damn it, that's how. Sweet lumpy farts. Now I've got a spider joining the chase. There we go. Oh, no, this leaking bag of meat doesn't want to stop. <laughs> Finally! Now, stay dead, stay down. Oh, crap. Stay dead. This is not working out. This is not working out. Spider. Spider. Aren't you dead yet? Stay dead. Stay dead. I got my mini bike out here somewhere. If I can find it, I think I'll be okay. Run, run, run. Oh man, those bastards took out my base. They took out all my loot. And to top it all off, they took out my sleeping bag. If they catch up with me, I could spawn anywhere on the map. I gotta get out of here. I gotta live. Things are starting to die down. It's almost morning. I think I'm gonna be good. Oh, right, I'm out. I gotta go. For the love of all things that are moist, I gotta go.
I glad to see this thing? I never thought I'd be so glad to see anything powered by a, essentially a lawnmower. When I finally got this thing, I am out of here. I am home free. Where am I? Okay, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I, I'm stuck. Ah, oh, crap. I'm burnt toast. to the police station. It's not exactly a base, but I have fortified it a little bit, so I should be safe here. And it's daybreak. Now if I can just live long enough to get inside and lay down a bedroll. Home sweet home. Man, there's nothing like finding a place you can be assured is safe after a long, hard day. Ah, I'm freezing to death. Well, just great. Home invasion. At least there were Romero shufflers and not 28 days later runners. Anybody behind me? Okay, looks like I'm good. I'll take this guy out. Swing and a miss. I must be tired. Frickin' squatters, I, I can't stand them. Alright, I'm gonna put a bedroll down and then uh, hop back on the bike, go back and survey the damage to the five minute base. Well, I gotta hand 
hand it to them. Those undead bastards sure know how to party. I lost seven crates of loot, food, gun parts, airdrops, and a base. It's clear what I need to do. I need to come back here and build a stronger base and test it on a horde night. So, stay tuned. Oh, hot. All right, that's it for this session. I hope you enjoyed that. If so, again, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all the things. Please leave a comment. Let me know if you've got yourself into that predicament before as well. Or if you've built the base, let me know what you, uh, what you think of it. Has it worked out for you? And uh, until next time, next time I'm going to rebuild that base, but with higher quality materials, and we'll test it out on a Horde night. So until next time, stay alive.